Hello, welcome to Sundays with Jim and Terry. I got Jim to sit down to this afternoon so that we could do a video and just wanted to show him and you a few things I picked up at Goodwill and one forgotten item that I got at Michael's Clearance. And also we're gonna do a taste test, just one item. Just want to get uh, Jim's reaction. I've never tried it before. Mm. Let's start with, um, I forgot I had this on my little rolling tray, but um, they had candles and this was um, regularly, I want to say regularly, this was 16, but 80% off. It came to like $6 or less than that. It's a really nice candle. It's called Rain Rainbow Sherbet. No. <laughs> Smell, well, yeah. <laughs> It smells really good. Smells Do you like really, it? It smells interesting. Yeah, it's a sweet. It's like a, it smells like the popsicle in the front yeah, of the Yeah, it smells like a popsicle. Exactly. So um, if you see that rainbow sherbet sorbet at Michael's, it's, yeah, it's a really good scent. So check out um, all the clearance that they're having. So I went to Goodwill yesterday and I was kind of excited because I found a couple of things. I thought it was Majelica. Um, but it's not. It's after looking at it closer, it is. I'll do more research on it. But they are from Japan. And what happened is, if you are a collector or a reseller, definitely check the the aisles. And um, I learned this from Crazy Lamp Lady. I watch her channel, and I encourage you to watch uh, her channel. But if you find something you really like, specifically like this, is a tapered candlestick. Go back through the row again because for whatever reason, not saying it's the wow. workers, but they will put something and they'll go back to the box and they put it somewhere else instead of keeping them together. So I, when I found one, I looked diligently for the next one. Only $1.99. This is 1958. Yes, yeah, it's 1958. They're from Japan. Um, so I'm not sure. I want to do some more uh, research on it. But... There's no chips or anything on there, is there at all? No, it looks really good. It's got a really pretty... What are they, candlestick holders? Yeah, it's for a tapered candle. Yeah. Hmm, so, cool. comment down below. If I'm you... glad you're not spending all my money. Yeah. <laughs> Two bucks each, so. But, yeah. And then, also check in an aisle that you like, okay, I don't need anything in the basket aisle. I don't need anything that's got, like, all kitchenware stuff in there. Definitely go back that because again, someone, usually it's a customer, will pick up something and they're like, ah, you know what, I don't want it. That's where I found this. And I wonder if like, I'm, I haven't pulled up the sticker yet. This also is $1.99, but it says 1954 on it. But it's, it's a really- same, It's the same product. That's what I'm thinking. Like it's a different um, what is decoration. It? Well, it looks oh, like Oh, you know what? Maybe... You put your jewelry in here and you hang your chains right here. Ma maybe. Possibly. Because it has a place. Earrings for here. And you put your chains yeah. here. Yeah. Or, or like a finger towel. You wouldn't want to put a This is the same on. company. Yeah. It yeah. could be from Japan, too. I'll have to soak that and get the label. Unless Jim can get the label off. But I thought that's so pretty. It's, you know, I don't know where. I think I might put it in our, our main bathroom. No, sell it. Yeah, I could sell it. I don't know, but <laughs> there's nothing. I really like this. this. Yeah, nothing underneath. No. But it's really the painting on paint job on there is just it's pretty. Really pretty. I like that. Yeah, with the pink and everything. It's a leaf. Yeah. Right there, it's a leaf. That's yeah, oh. neat. Here. Okay, so I'll put it with the other two. But um, I had the lady like, can you wrap those in paper because I don't want them to fall apart. Yeah, it's better than wrapping them in glass. Yes. So I really like this book really heavy duty book and what's nice is what I was looking for was like older books that I can use in my junk journaling um, but this one is uh, through Indian eyes I had read a book from um, a native in Canada she wrote a book about the Indian schools and how horrific it was um, for those uh, those children being taken from their parents homes and so forth trying to Americanize them or Canadianize them you know um, but there's the all insurance. all the history um, from the Indian side of things. So this is really good illustrations, pictures. Um, this is going to be a deep dive book. And, you know, I like to uh, read stories, but this is more of a historical nature book. So it'll take a, quite a while for me 
uh, to get through this book, but I thought, what a really just a well night uh, nice book, like not damaged at all. And if you know, if you're a Goodwill shopper, um, these hardbound books, the most they charge you is three dollars. I'm sure this book was. Let's see. There's, sometimes it'll say original price <clears throat> four. Um, let's see. I don't think it does. I don't have my gloves. No, probably not. Let's see if it does. Give me a moment. Yeah. Let's see. Just Library of Congress catalog cataloging. Okay, so it's one of those Reader's Digest books. Um, so those ones you can order through Reader's Digest, and they, you know, this could be anywhere thirty or forty dollar book. But yeah, <clears throat> so I'm interested to read that sometime in the future and then we have a little taste test <laughs> you've probably seen this when i hauled it it was from from five below and it's been sitting there we haven't tried it yet but the mike and ice cotton candy i don't like cotton candy will you still try it though yeah i don't okay. care for it though yeah, i just want to it's too sugary yeah I know. It's a tear spot. matter of fact walmart if you walk into our walmart in brownsburg they give you little bags of cotton candy to walk through Walmart. And, and the reason is because Rule King oh, there, over in yeah. Avon and right. Lowe's over in Brownsburg, they make popcorn and they give you little bags of popcorn so you can walk through the store of popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. And they allow dogs in Walmart or in Rural King and Walmart Lowe's. So too. if you drop the popcorn, the dogs have a snack also. <laughs> so. Okay, here it I don't care for it. I know, just try it. No, too sour. Nope. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that's a big no no. Oh. Yeah. That's awful. That is, yeah, that's really bad. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's been sitting there for a while. Or... Don't try it again. No, I'm just. You know you are. Make... You're going to try it again. I am. A smaller piece. I took oh, that's awful. Let me try it again. Yeah, no. So they had different flavors there. Ooh. Um, I like I like Stuck cotton candy. It's not it's not my favorite thing, like a snack. Like if you go to a amusement park or anything, I'd rather have a churro or yeah, something like that, ice cream, but. No. Cotton candy is Especially a candy. Mike and Ike's cotton candy. That's just... No, I just... Yeah, I just wanted to see. Yeah. It was just something different. That's, that was an expensive bag. <laughs> Stuff that I have to throw it away. Oh, I think it was three bucks. Maybe. Yeah, no. That's a bad three dollars spent. Well, no. Nope. Well, that's it for Jim and Terry. Sundays with Jim and Terry. So, hopefully we'll do this again. Okay. See you in the funny papers. <laughs> Dad will get that one. Yeah. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye.